Hello and welcome back. Thank you for joining me again, goblins. Um, my hair's doing some weird stuff. It's growing out, so it's sticking up. That's always fun. Uh, today we are going to be reading uh, Big Panda and Tiny Dragon. It is something that our aunt gave us. And um, I want to wish you a happy holidays, whatever it is you celebrate, if you celebrate. Um, and here we go. I'll show you the pictures as we go. This is Max, by the way. It's nice to see everyone again. So we got spring. Be brave. You never know what a first meeting might lead to. We got the little dragon and the panda. A new day and a new beginning, said Tiny Dragon. What shall we do with it? Which is more important, asked Big Panda, the journey or the destination? The company, said Tiny Dragon. I'm too busy to see the flowers right now, said Tiny Dragon. All the more reason to look at them, said Big Panda, and they might not be here tomorrow. Isn't nature incredible, said Tiny Dragon? It is, agreed Big, Big Panda, but we are just as much a part of nature as the trees or the spider, and just as amazing. Big Panda, said Tiny Dragon, I like the way you listen to me, and talk to me, and travel with me, but most of all, I like the way you make me feel. Try to make time for the small things, said Big Panda. They are often the most important. The most important thing, said Big Panda, is to pay attention. You got the little dragon smacking into the panda there. Just because you don't know where you are going, it doesn't mean you are lost, said Tiny Dragon profoundly. Very true, replied Big Panda, but in this case, we are definitely lost. <laughs> that tree has been through some rough times, said Tiny Dragon. Yes, said Big Panda, but it's still here, and it has gained strength and beauty. Hurry, squeaked Tiny Dragon. There's so much to do. The river doesn't hurry, said Big Panda. Yet despite many obstacles, it always gets where it's going. I don't know how well that is to see. Nothing is happening, said Tiny Dragon. Maybe, said Big Panda. It's happening underneath first. Sometimes I think I'm not good enough, said Tiny Dragon. A cherry tree doesn't compare itself to other trees, said Big Panda. It just blossoms. Uses for a leaf. Number one, a boat. Sometimes you just have to be silly. Be 
Each decision you make on your journey takes you closer or further from where you want to go. Mistakes mean you're trying, said Big Panda. Don't give up. I want to change the world, said Tiny Dragon. Start with the next person who needs your help, replied Big Panda. The map doesn't show where I'm supposed to go to... Rats. <laughs> the map doesn't show where I'm supposed to go, said Tiny Dragon. Your journey isn't shown on any map, said Big Panda. You must discover your own path. Let the little lady get a drink of water. I miss him already, said Tiny Dragon. What if he gets hurt? You help him when he needed it most, said Big Panda. And, if, and what if he goes on to live a long, happy life? The path ahead looks difficult, said Big Panda. No matter how hard it gets, said Tiny Dragon, we'll face it together. I wish this moment could last forever, said Tiny Dragon. This moment is all there is, said Big Panda. Summer. Time doing nothing is never wasted. I wish I had met you earlier, said Tiny Dragon, so we could have gone on even more adventures together. What is my purpose? purpose? asked Tiny Dragon. Big Panda paused, then said, to sit on that stone and be with your friend. My head feels like this storm sometimes, said Tiny Dragon. If you really listen, said Big Panda, you can hear the raindrops splashing on the stone. It's possible to find a little peace, even in a storm. An elder dragon is a tiny dragon who never gave up. We have a long way to go, said Big, Big Panda. Tiny Dragon grinned. Grandpa Dragon used to say, a journey of a thousand miles begins with a cup of tea. You're a good listener, said Tiny Dragon. Listening has never landed me in troubles, replied Big Panda. I can't find the right place for this last branch, huffed Tiny Dragon. Big Panda chewed his bamboo thoughtfully. It's, it's the imperfections that make it perfect. The best thing to have with tea, said Big Panda, is a good friend. I'm worried, said Tiny Dragon. I don't know what to do next. For just a moment, said Big Panda. Stop, breathe, and listen to the wind in the bamboo. What are you doing? asked Tiny Dragon. I have no idea, said Big Panda, but it's great fun. If you seek happiness for others, you may find it for yourself.
you know, said Tiny Dragon, these might be good old days that we'll look back on with great longing. In that case, said Big Panda, let's never stop making memories. Love needs no explanation. To that, <clears throat> together we can do anything. Some people are like candles. They burn themselves out to create light for others. Uses for a leaf number 17, a parasol, and dinner. Hurry up, Big Panda, we're going to be late. Big Panda sat down. I like to think I'm creating anticipation. <laughs> This garden is beautiful, said Tiny Dragon. Big Panda nodded, and we only found it because we went the wrong way so many times. You don't do much, said Tiny Dragon. I'm full of potential, said Big Panda with a yawn. Autumn. Autumn is here, said Big Panda, and soon winter will be upon us. Oh, said Tiny Dragon, more cozy evenings together, with tea. Uses for a leaf number 62, an umbrella. We're lost again, said Big Panda. When I'm lost, said Tiny Dragon, I find it helps to go back to the beginning and try to remember why I started. What if I meet people who don't like me or... What if I meet people who don't like me or the things I do, asked Tiny Dragon. You must walk your own path, said Big Panda. Better to lose them than to lose yourself. My flower, said Tiny Dragon. All things must come to pass, little one. That's what makes them so precious. It's hard to be kind to everyone, said Tiny Dragon. True, said Big Panda. And hardest of all to be kind to ourselves, but we must try. Let go or be dragged. When drinking tea, drink tea. What are you thinking about? asked Tiny Dragon. Nothing, said Big Panda. It's wonderful. <laughs> Try and get these pictures all in there for you. I can't find my way out of this hole, said Tiny Dragon. Big Panda smiled. 
then I will come and sit down and sit in it with you. The leaves are dying, said Tiny Dragon. Don't be sad, said Big Panda. Autumn in Autumn is nature's way of showing how showing us how beautiful letting go can be. Look what I found, said Tiny Dragon. Oh, said Big Panda, an opportunity to try something new. You're quiet today, said Tiny Dragon. Big Panda smiled. I don't think I can improve on the sound of the rain. I'm not sure this is working. How is that tree still standing? asked Tiny Dragon. During better times, said Big Panda, it grew deep roots. Now it can weather any storm. It's a shame we didn't plant this tree a long time ago, said Tiny Dragon. Imagine how big it would be. We're doing it now, said Big Panda. That's the important thing. Can you hear the wind in the trees, Tiny Dragon? That's nature's way of telling us to take a moment, to stop, breathe, and just be. Are you ever meant are you ever mean to yourself, Big Panda? Big Panda watched the ripples spread across the lake. I see how gentle you are, Tiny Dragon, and try to treat myself with the same kindness. There have been so many difficulties along this path, said Tiny Dragon. There have, agreed Big Panda, but we have learned something from each one and imagine how good the view will be when we reach the top. Whether people praise you or criticize you, Tiny Dragon, try to accept it gracefully. It takes all kinds of conditions to create a strong tree. Listen to someone is listening to someone is one of the greatest things you can do for them. Let's see if I can get more light on this picture. There we go. When you light a lantern for someone else, you cannot help but light up your own path. If you don't try, said Big Panda, you'll never know if you can fly. And this says, what do you want? I'm tired, sighed Tiny Dragon. And it's time to stop, said the Big Panda. Watch the stars and have a cup of hot tea. What are you celebrating, asked Tiny Dragon. Getting rained on, said Big Panda, with you. That's a very small candle, said Tiny Dragon. However small the light, said Big Panda, it's better than darkness.
I want to open a scary pumpkin stand, said Penny Dragon, but I'm afraid I'll fail. Big Panda poured his friend some more tea. You might fail, little one, but if you let fear stop you from even trying, failure is assured. Sometimes all you can do is make someone a cup of tea. It might be enough. There are days when just getting up is a victory. What is the universe, asked Tiny Dragon. Big Panda looked up at the sky. We are, little one. We are depthless oceans and summer lighting. There is nothing more magnif magnificent. Winter. You've been carrying me for so many days now, said Tiny Dragon. It could be worse, said Big Panda. You could be Big Dragon and Tiny Panda. Each season is completely different, said Big Panda, yet each has its wonders. Just like us, said Tiny Dragon with a grin. Sometimes it's good to head out with no idea where you're going. How do you keep going, asked Tiny Dragon. Sometimes, said Big Panda, even the smallest step is better than no step. It's the shortest day, said Tiny Dragon. Winter is truly upon us. But also the longest night, said Big Panda, and that comes with its own wonders. I give up, said Tiny Dragon. That's okay, said Big Panda. We'll try again tomorrow. It's cold and dark tonight, said Tiny Dragon. Don't worry, little one, said Big Panda. The sun will rise again. If you're struggling, little one, you can tell me said Big Panda. I want to help. Do bad thoughts make me a bad person? asked Tiny Dragon. No, said Big Panda. The waves are not the ocean. The thoughts are not the mind. I'm so tired, said Tiny Dragon. Big Panda paused. Winter is a time when nature withdraws, rests, and gathers its energy for a new beginning. We are allowed to do the same, my little friend. I forgot to make my New Year's resolution, sighed Tiny Dragon. Don't worry, little one, said Big Panda. If there's something you want to change, you can start right now. What would your three wishes be, asked Tiny Dragon. Big Panda mo pondered a moment. Us together, traveling, in the rain. <laughs> There is beauty everywhere, said Big Panda, but sometimes it's difficult to see.
uses for leaf number 111, a sled. I can't explain how I feel, said Tiny Dragon. Big Panda smiled. That's okay. Words are not adequate for all things. You give me strength when all mine has gone. Spring. Butterflies struggle most just before they emerge. Do you believe in reincarnation? Asked Tiny Dragon. Panda, Big Panda yawned. I believe that every minute of every day we can let go and start again. Even a damaged tree can produce the most beautiful blossoms. Are we nearly there yet? asked Tiny Dragon. Big Panda smiled. I hope not. All right, and that is the end of the book. There is just some acknowledgments and such in the back. But I think that was a very cute book. Book I hadn't read it before. Um, my aunt had given this to me for Christmas, and I wanted to share it with you. So I hope you all enjoy your day. I know it's not the best for everybody, but I still wish you guys to have the best day you possibly can. And we will see you hopefully very soon. Goodbye, goblins, and have a good evening.